Good morning and welcome to another video by Russia UK. Right, on today's video, what I want to be talking about is this £6,000 the government is giving to small businesses. Now, and the question a lot of you guys are asking me is, are we entitled to some of this grant that the government is giving? Right, so you probably heard it on the news, I think it was about last week, Rishi Shunak, the Chancellor, is saying, look, you know, we want to give small businesses up to £6,000 grant. So it's up to £6,000, meaning £6,000 is a maximum you'll be able to get. Now, here's a problem. He is giving it to the hospitality industry, the pubs, the restaurants, the cinemas, you know, all them sort of people. And he's saying the people who will distribute this fund will be your local council. They'll be the administrators uh, for the distribution of this fund. Uh, fund. Now, this is specifically for the variant Omricon, you know, and what they've done is they've set a pot of one billion pound that is available uh, to for distribution. Now, let me break this into two sections actually, because. You as a taxi driver are not going to be able to get it, but you can also get it as well. But I'll make it a bit more clear um, later on. So firstly, you got one section here and two sections. Right, the first section, this is specifically for the hospitality sector, right? These are restaurants, bars, cinemas, uh, theatres, all that sort of um, places. Right, and they will be given um, a grant between two thousand seven hundred, four thousand pound, and a maximum of six thousand pound. Now, six thousand pound is going to be given to people uh, premises, sorry, which rateable value is over fifty one thousand pound. So, this is the, the the way you will fall into if you're a small business is will depend on the rateable value you pay to the council. Depending on the value, will depend on the three uh, payments the 2700, 4000, 6000. Now, the government here have set aside 683 million pound for that specific sector there. Right now, if we move on to the other section there's a possibility that you could claim that from uh, section two. Now, section two is what they call additional restriction grants, right? And that basically means is for struggling businesses outside the leisure hospitality sector. So like the supply chain, you know, you could argue. Now they've set aside 102 million for this now this is the only place that you as a taxi drivers or private eye drivers whatever you are uh, delivery drivers you know this is where you could be able to get some sort of grant but remember I said earlier that grant is payable through the local council and the local council you know yourself don't like paying out now even now the local government are still holding on to 250 million pound from the previous grant the, the government gave. They have not even distributed that, you know, and you got 102 million now uh, of additional restriction grants. The, gov uh, the local uh, council have got, your council have got that money in their pot. How are you going to get it is the question. And how do you get it? Do you get it by actually approaching them direct? Do you get it by a union? Do you, got, uh, do you get it by, you know, talking to your local councillors? Whatever it is, that's where you are going to get that money from. And there is money for you. And it's under section two of um, uh, how they're distributing that fund. And it's under additional restrictions and grant. Now, the only other thing... Uh, uber could help you with is uh what they call a statutory sick pay rebate scheme which is 96 pound 35 and so if you were to fall ill um you know uber 
obviously they're saying you're part of them now, um, can apply to get that money through statutory sick pay rebate scheme and then pay to you. But that is a maximum of two weeks. But still, that's nearly £200 they should be able to get without, you know, but are they going to do it? You know, is it too much paperwork for them? You know, that, that is another question, but that's the only way uh, Uber could help you. They're not going to help you in other way. They could help you uh, up to £200. So if you were to fall ill, you know, and tell Uber, look, I've, uh, I'm, um, uh, I've got the Omricon, and um, they will be able to get two weeks uh, statutory sick pay for you. Um, and the other one, you know, it's all down to the council. It's all down to, is is the council going to be able to pay you um, that money through additional restrictions apply? So that's what it's all about. I hope it's a bit more insight to um, what it's all about. But, you know, I'm not holding hopes. But we've seen this. We've seen what the council do. And sometimes it is worth rattling the council's cage. You've seen it previously when some of these councils had their money and they were making excuses like, oh, we got drivers from other uh, councils so we can't pay them or they don't live in this area, but eventually they came around to it. So it could be just a matter of that again. How you go about it, how you claim it, is the biggest uh, hurdle here. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.